Hello, today we're talking about binary trees in, in and we will implement it in Haskell and uh, uh, we will write a simple function which uh, takes uh, this binary tree and produce all paths in this binary tree. Okay, what is a binary tree? Let's define it in Haskell. Uh, we can see, we can uh, define it as a polymorphic data type so I call it battery and it takes one argument as a type and um, what is a tree it's either leaf with this a type an internal type either this is a node which uh, constructed from this A type and um, exactly same battery from the left and uh, exactly same battery from the right. So we can see what they use some recursion in definition here. Okay, and uh, let's. Uh, Let's create some value of this type. I will call it tr and uh, its type will be battery of integer. Okay? And let's define and let's construct it with a constructor as a node which contain one number one uh, as a node and uh, as a left tree it will contain a subtree which defined as leaf uh, with two and uh, also a right subtree will be also tree defined as leaf which contain three Okay, and that's all we create a tree in Haskell. Let's uh, run GHCI and uh, load our battery file and, com and it compiles and um, <laughs> let's uh, derive some showing here before we um, before before we can we can uh, print it and so reload and we can see that we can we create a tree value okay but uh, we want to write a simple function which um, take tree and produce all paths in this tree Okay, I call this function as all paths, all paths function, and its type uh, will be from battery A to list of lists. Okay, all paths has type from B3 of some A, polymorphic A, polymorphic type, to list of lists. So our paths, uh, we represent our uh, some path with a list, and all paths are represented as a list of lists. <laughs> and um, now we we will write our function definition all paths okay let's uh, start from some corner cases some simple cases and uh, one of these cases is leaf when we have leaf leaf of uh, leaf of something if we have tree which um, defined only as a leaf then we can see that 
all its paths it's only one it's uh, have only one path which uh, has a list of one list which contain exactly this a value and this symbol and uh, this uh, should work for this case but if we have uh, other case then we construct our uh, uh, value with a node constructor we need to on pattern match it here and pattern match our value a and um, our left tree and right tree and simply L and R, R. and uh, in this case how can we find all paths okay we can see that uh, we uh, we uh, recur recursively can find all uh, sub sub path from the left uh, sub tree and from the right uh, right sub tree okay and we have this a node and uh, if we add this a node to every path of the left sub tree and every path of the right sub tree we will uh, get all paths. So, we have all paths of uh, left subtree, okay? And uh, let's add them to all paths of right subtree. We just uh, concatenate our lists, our paths. But uh, uh, these paths uh, doesn't contain a node, which uh, contains in this node which we are better match here uh, so we get a list a list of lists here and we can just have map them with uh, partially applied uh, with partially applied constructor list constructor cons and we need to apply x here and uh, then the uh, add this x to every sublist of this list okay and uh, we will we will uh, of course where is uh, a here a not a and we will get uh, all the all the paths, I think. Okay, let's uh, save and compile this. <coughs> Some problems. Expected one or more argument to. Hmm. Of course, I uh, I need to define define the type of the list of uh, element of the list here. I doesn't define it here. And let's reload, and we can see that it reloads. And uh, let's print all paths of. Um, our tier 3 and you can see that it find all paths but uh, this is very simple tree let's create some more complex tree okay and uh, I create it as I built it from simpler trees okay one of these simpler trees will be tier tree I, I call it tier uh, L and I also create tier right subtree which will contains other numbers 4, 5 and 6 and on top of these two simple trees I create a more complex tree I call it tier and uh, it will it will be constructed from one node uh, 
uh, which contain number 7 and uh, tear one tree from the left and one uh, right tree from the right ok and we have and tear some more some complex tree and let's uh, reload this and run our path with tear and we can see here what for this tree <coughs> which get which uh, now contains seven nodes seven numbers and they can see all the paths are in this tree so it have four paths okay and i think that's all that's uh, all what we need to define a battery in Haskell and all paths function. Thanks guys for watching. Push subscribe button, push likes button and write comments. Bye.